thought about it. Why not take artists up that got it moving? Why not fuck with artists that's about to be moving? Why not? I want to be early. I want to be the first to stand by it. That's what I do. We move it. You see it. Yo, you already know what it is, man. It's that boy Punch. We outside, man. It's moving. I got my boy here, man. He's home, fresh home. Let him know if they don't know. <laughs> bow, bow, bow. Miss, don't miss. D boy, that's what they call the nigga, you heard? I hear that hot shit. That boy out. Talk to me, man. I mean, if if they don't know who you are, like, you know what I mean? Like, you are quite the the infamous. Yeah, I'm just, for me, I'm just the big smurder, like. Mm hmm. I'm, I'm Mitch, like. Yeah. Play the rest of the shit yourself. And Mitch caught a body about a week ago, a week ago. How does that feel? Like, how does, let's go back. Let's go back. What part of Brooklyn are you from? Let's, 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 let's keep it basic for the people. Nah. For the nine. Nine, two, nine, we don't chill. Yeah. Um, what's the come up like? You West Indian, everybody in, yeah, in Jamaica. This, Jamaica. Yeah. How's, how's the come up for you? Come up is real, like, yeah. niggas, is, niggas is starving. Niggas is, niggas out there hustling, niggas is busting their jugs, niggas out there swiping they, they, they things, niggas out there cashing in their things, like, yeah. we gotta get in, we fit in the town, so either you gonna be a scam, you gonna be a robber, you gonna be a nine to five nigga, or you just gonna be a out the way nigga. <laughs> you know I mean? it, it felt like those were the limited options. Saying, like, you can play basketball, or for me, you're gonna rap, like, little bro Fetty, shout out to little bro Fetty, you can play basketball. Of course, took away that chance, so he rapped. For me. Yeah. Other niggas in the streets. He like, definitely was balling heavy. I can play ball. I ain't going to the league. Man. I can rap. So I'm a rap. Yeah. And be in the streets. I can be in the streets. And yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. Shout out to Fat Boy over here, though. Crew Squad. GOGS9 GOGS9 over here and all that. I mean, everything is moving. You active. Uh. Let's put put me back into the seat. Is does Rowdy feel like he's gonna go first? Does Bobby feel like he's gonna go first? Like, how is it before? Like, what was the energy like in the squad? No, nah, it's, it's it's not none of that. No, I mean like in the town before it happened. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's his <coughs> brothers. Like, yeah. it's real. We still in the hood. You could drive through and see Rowdy posted up on Nine Thursday. Come on Nine Fifth. Like, you walk through where you won't see niggas because the hood love us. We not just. Oh, niggas got famous and nah, nah, them niggas can't come out to your hood. Nah, we, we all the hood. When the records was moving, still yeah, outside. Yeah, we, we all the hood. <laughs> they, like, they know. Yeah. Like, they know. It, it speak for itself. Like, my niggas never told. Everybody still told. They ain't never fold. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, we gonna get to all of that good shit. Like, we gonna, a lot of time. I'm not mad at you. Uh, okay, so that's a thing that changes, though. A lot of people get popping. They get a successful record. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, they're gone. Because they wasn't. They wasn't. Mans and all like that, I will say. Because in our situation, we have Bobby Roddy doing anything, mm -hmm. then you got squad. So it's never a time where Roddy could be going to LA, Bobby could be going to Miami. Yo, you, 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 y'all gonna go over there this time, you, you gonna go over here this time, then next time niggas gonna switch. Or next time, that is, it's always like that for me. Yeah. So you so, felt everybody was still a unit. Yeah, like. But what goes wrong? A lot of these people, they just get, they, I guess, I guess. They just don't be. I, I, my question to the matter is, some people get successful and they immediately switch up. So I guess what is the reason? Is it really just weak minds? Is it greed? Is it the money? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, you know, you know, money is the cause of all evil. Mm -hmm. Like, nigga got enough money, you can take your bitch. I'm saying, if nigga got enough money, you fuck your baby mom. Like, that's a hard reality for me. Nigga got enough money, with. you get you knocked off by your man, depending on where y'all stand up. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, like we from the nine, like we we we. We me niggas, but I would never say nothing to you about Gino, because that's none of your business. Yeah. But if I feel way about him, I'm going to tell the rest of the game. Understood. And when I catch him, we're going to have to hash it out, and it's going to go that way. Yeah. For me, but I would never say nothing about my game to nobody outside. I did. For me. So if somebody outside is saying something to me, and it's like I could beat you up, or I could move on you, I could be like, right, whatever, brush you off, because you just a nigga looking for clock. Yeah. For me, like no funny shit. Shout out to them, them, them hard bridge niggas, cause them niggas moving like they circles is tight. They doing their thing. No matter what you do, you can't infiltrate their circle. Yeah. You're not hearing this nigga said this about this nigga. This they holding it one. They yeah. holding it one. So that's how you supposed to move. For me, that's how that's damn how we was moving. But we was just 
Like niggas mind states was like, alright, we got bread. We try to front now, it's like, alright. Now we like before it was like, alright, we gonna holler at you. Now it's like, you know, we're we definitely gonna holler at you now. Yeah. You feel me? Cause now a nigga want his name in the song. <laughs> so now a nigga want niggas to know like, yeah, this is what's going I'm on. Action too. <laughs> you know <what> I'm saying? <laughs> wow. Um <laughs> see, I I'll put you back in where my mind was. Um I'm talking to Rowdy pretty consistently. Um, I ain't really talked to Bobby too much at that time. I'm talking to Rowdy, and he just like, yo, punch, man, play my shit, Cruddy. Play my shit, man. Yo, when you in these club, play my shit every day. You're like, yo, you play my shit? Yo, you only played it once, nigga? Yo, let my shit run two, three times. Like, you know, and he's just, he, yeah, bro, he the, the charisma in him was, I'm be honest, bro, it was so different. You get what I'm saying for everything with y'all. Where did you go with, um... On your fitting, because I know that for a while, like when the records pick up, what was your role to the team? You feel? I was role manager. Like I said, like I'm big bro. For me, Gino will tell you, like I'm big bro. Try to keep niggas out of trouble. If it, if it go where it gotta go, I'm from. I'm gonna take it there. Cause mm -hmm. my brothers, I'm not RIP no more. No more niggas. You feel me? That's mm -hmm. just how I look at it. So niggas can take it how they want. It's a harsh reality. Yeah. If 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 your mother got to cry. And my man's mother don't got to cry, then it's going to be like that. Because I don't want to bury my man's no more. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, niggas did that, and I whole minds flipped. Like, all the people, my boy Shice, after that, niggas just, niggas' whole demeanor went from evil to sick at, like, niggas was just different. So, yeah. if I, but if I could avoid it, if I could keep niggas out the way or keep niggas from doing certain shit, I, I'm going to do it because I'm big bro at the end of the day. Yeah. I can't be big bro just by saying, yo, hey, here's a, here's a gun or, yo, Go beat that nigga up. Nah, yo, boy, go get a job. You trying to get some bread? Ah, right, you feel me? But if it come down to it, we meant at the end of the day. Yeah. No matter what gang you in, no matter what, like, shout out to Billy, you feel me? No matter what gang you in, Facts. like, we men, we brothers. We grew up together day one. Like, you know, he tell you, we didn't drive. When I drive, I don't want nobody smoking. It's a real story. <laughs> I want nobody smoking. When I, I don't smoke weed. Yeah. I don't want to smoke earlier, but yeah. your man, your man right here, yeah. he want to smoke in a Sprinter, right? All right, I, I, I said don't smoke. I know. I said don't smoke. Niggas, all right, pull over gas station. Yo, who's smoking? He want to play big bad man. So we get out the, we we get out in the gas station, and what happened? Wow. So you got, you know what I'm saying? You got a box. You got to do it like it's not personal. It's just I'm driving when 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 dread drive or. Or, or fame old driving, somebody, we driving across state. Ah, don't get me pulled over on me. Like, you feel me? But it's just family. Like, it's, it's family. It's just family. And, and you can tell. So then everything is going. Uh, uh, Shmoney Dance picks up first. Everybody's going crazy. The streets is going in a frenzy. Rowdy dancing. Everybody looking at all of these young broken niggas dancing in the middle of the street. Nobody letting cars pass. I mean, it, it becomes mm -hmm. this enigma. That's how and That's how at the it. end of this video, we start seeing this kid Bobby Schmurter just dancing and start and really go, "Who's this nigga?" And then, Hot Nigga comes out. What is it like when Hot Nigga drops for y'all camp? <laughs> like when it when it got lit. No, let's talk about yeah when it started to bubble. Let's walk it through. See, you got, like you understand, like the way we like we hot boys, you feel me? Like that's that's it's, it's the HB said they died. Like we really hot boys, we really turned up the streets of these flappers, like so we just our like our our swag, like the way we limp is just we just feel like yo whatever we do is gonna be lit, cause we them niggas. Facts. Like even when we was the there was some little there's some little dirty niggas over there, uh I right, cool. You got niggas trapping, niggas getting money, niggas backing their renties out, niggas OT, niggas out of spots in Maryland, woo woo woo. Niggas is doing their thing. Yeah, we don't hobby. care what's going on over there. Like, we don't care, because when it come down to it, all said and done in them streets, nobody was playing with us. Yeah. So, when they, they catch on now, it's like, they listening to the song, like, oh shit. Oh, I know that nigga. Oh, that nigga. Because you hear oh, the names. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Feel me? So mad, mad. Niggas ain't know who Mitch was. I'm not yeah. in no. I don't know videos, like, yeah. but it's a reason I'm not no video. Yeah. Like it's a reason Monte not supposed to be no videos. The reason you ain't see Rasha, you ain't see A Rod. You feel me? Like niggas, niggas doing what they gotta do. Mm -hmm. So when it blow up now, it's like all right, let's keep going. It's like what you expect, bro. Like, we them niggas. What's I, I put me back to the one moment where you hear your name in the record? Like yo, actually, <laughs> when the shit got lit, lit. I was in my crib on 9th and Rutland. 
wake up, I'm off the lean, so I was sleep till like three o'clock in the morning. I was a lean head. I was skinny too, I was, so I was frail. So, I remember this one day. So <laughs> I wake up, my older cousin called, they got like 17 minutes calls, I got a mad text. I don't know what's going on. I don't know, Bobby had his interview when he said, no, not bitch, he clarified it. Yeah. So everybody called him down, yo, what's up? Yo, what's up with your little man? What's up, what happened? Yo, he said your name. Uh, yeah. Hey, I'm, I fucked the bitch the other day. Yeah. Call the body, that's it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Call but, creator. Nah, that's what it is, though. <laughs> that's what it was, so. It's just funny, like, then yeah. it just kept going. So when it's going now, it's like, all right. I ain't just really seen it, like, yo, so we some young ass niggas. I was 23 years old, probably 28 next month. Like, I'm like, yo, we really young, son. Like, little bro right here, not even old enough to get into the clubs, he getting in. Fact. They telling him, yo, bro, you can only come in here with such as people. like, what? Whole gang is in here. Well, I'm not going in there. Big facts. And niggas is in there, like, they be in the hood, chilling. Then niggas is in B more. They be in the hood, chilling. Niggas is on. Yeah. It's a hood, chilling. It's not no. Oh shit! Nah, what's up? What's cracking? What's going on? What we doing? Playing basketball? Or like, yeah. So it was something to be spoken about. I remember when I'm I'm catching flames, and a lot of people's put me on. Um, shout to my little bro OP, my little bro Scrap. Yeah, it's my boy right there. Free uh, Scrap, man. You know what I mean? Like, it's, we gonna get to the new present shit. But these niggas is calling me every day. Punch, yo, bro. What what are we doing? Why is just not not this is fifty yet? Fifty gotta fuck with Bobby, you know. Like we gotta get this moving, and I yeah, remember the scraps, like free scraps. Huh? Yeah, man, it, it's it, he was he was locked up and then came home and then back. It's it'd that's, be the bad cycle. It's, 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 that's the life of the, like people be people don't be realizing when you in the streets, like when you in the streets, yeah. not not niggas that was Double on the sidewalk bitch. that was in the streets yeah. or that was on the porch and When you in the streets, you you feel me? When you go from outside your door to the streets. And, 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 and shit start bubbling. For you to subside those ways is kind of hard. Facts. You know, because now it's like, damn, son, I'm trying to get me for my chain, I'm not doing, damn, son, this nigga talking crazy, and he got a platform, so now I got to do this, then now live, I mean, I'm locked up, so I don't know what's going on. Yeah. So I'm hearing all these little shows, and people getting booked and going on shows. Yeah. I'm like, yo, this was going on? Oh, yo, this nigga walking, he got booked two times, he's <laughs> still buying jewelry. So it's like, damn, but I'm locked, like, I didn't know how to use a phone. I didn't know how to use the phone. Yeah, I was looking at you earlier, even when you was out there, you <laughs> scrolling awkward. I said, yeah, I, I, that's I, I, what I said. Yo, it's been a while. Yeah, I've been home. What's this? Like four days. Today's right? Thursday. Four days. Went to sleep one time. <laughs> I've been on this shit watching everybody videos, bro. Everybody. Oh, shit, this is what's going on. That shit did. Oh, 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 oh. I'm on Instagram. I had 900 followers on Monday, bro. Cause I made my gram while I was locked up. No, no, we're going to boom this up. Like, no, but I'm just saying, I had 900, <laughs> came home, I wanted to come home, jump out of a helicopter and all that, but I'm amazing, I'm telling you, chill, just relax. Like, right. I'm serious. So, I, I was asking about you to come home, I was like, yo, what we doing? We going to grant them the same, no, I, I the same blue that, carpet, that, what we doing? I'm not that type of nigga, bro. I, I was asking. That's why it's D-Boy Low, like, yeah. the low stands for low key, mm -hmm. for me, longevity, long dick and niggas bitches, you know what I'm saying? Okay, that so, shit. So... I'm just low, like, so, Fetty on the, yo, bro, we come to get you with the Sprinter, yo, some grease, like, yo, we come to get you down, I'm like, yeah, 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 don't worry, we come out at 12 o'clock, I'm going, I'm home. Fetty hit me up, yo, boy, you pussy, why you ain't tell me? Cuz, bro, I got shit I want to do. Like, studio, I eight out there, 760 out there, yeah. you know what I'm saying, like, bottles, it's, 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 it's love, like, yeah. it's love. Then my shit is shooting up, my shit still shooting up, I got three bands, it ain't nothing crazy, but it's like, Damn, I just came home. I don't. I don't even. I don't know. It'd be hard for me to do live sometimes. I'm looking at yeah. stories. Look, I, I don't. Was, don't even worry about that. Cause let me tell you something. This shit gonna come, and the people gonna be like, "Oh, this is, it's this is this is what." Let me tell you. Fetty came home to like a, a twenty a twenty k, and almost got a, like a ten k in like the first day home. We vlogged it, the yeah. sprinter. We doing everything, popping the bottle. We doing it like it was. Yeah, I, I'm not, it, it felt good. I'm no, I'm not mad at it. I can't. Like, just now being like in the open. Yeah. Is is. And my first, first Instagram ever, I never had my face showing. Yeah. I mean, it was D-Boy Low, regular. Some some hating, somebody got my shit deleted. Then I, next one, my shit started booming. You know, we got lit. Baby Mom deleted that one. Damn, baby mom. You feel me? <laughs> Shout out to Baby Mom, though. She threw my rollie away, too. She was she was angry, but I'll get another one. That's harsh. 
<laughs> That's life though, you feel me? <laughs> Can't say nothing about it. What am I gonna do? It's gone. Yeah, can't unflush it. You know, like, like this shit just... guess my little man or something, but like I said though, yeah. It is what it is. I was never like like they know me, like D Boy, ah, uh, then they hear Mitch. Then some people put two and two together, yo, oh D boy is Mitch. Yeah. Yo, I went to school with that nigga, yo, that nigga's like that. Like or everybody that's upstate with me just now. Like, nigga, no, I I didn't play no games at all. We gonna get there. Cause we still got a big we got a big mountain to talk about. Then comes World War Nine, like I, I'm gonna be honest, man. And I, like everybody, will tell you now that you're catching up. Go on the internet, go look at all the interviews, go catch up. There's hundreds, millions of views. But bro, I'm in these clubs too. That's really what made my interviews different. It's because I'm not an interview nigga. I'm a DJ, rapper, song nigga, whatever you want to call it. That just talk to his rapper friends. That's what it is. <laughs> but when we in the club and World War Nine come on, you haven't been able to feel that yet. I felt the first time and fuck lust up. Nah, but this is a way different feel now. You know what I mean? Like, this record comes on, and you just hear it. We put a nine, you know, it just goes, you know what I mean? Yeah, D-Boy Lowe is what wrong. they call it, nigga. Nigga, Lowe is supposed to be. D-Boy Lowe, that's what they call it, nigga. Before I kill him, say that I father, nigga. Yeah, but Ron, I don't know, he told him to get to the gym, lose his stomach. You gotta hit the treadmill or something. Yo, that's good. He called me immediately. He texted me immediately about you. Yeah, I see y'all already in the loop. That's bro, bro. Yeah. Bro, you playing. How does it feel with World War Nine? Because you didn't get what was, you know, like. I have fun. Like, like I said, like, even now, this little, this little skip that I drop, and niggas are saying it's fine and all that, like, like, I be saying it like, damn, I got some shit. Yeah. So if this is fire, it's like, the shit that I think is fire, what y'all gonna think of them shit is then. Mm hmm. Feel me? Yeah. So, it don't be, it don't be hitting me, bro. I don't know. It's because, I really think it's just because of the community we from. I don't. I you always move with that like that type of lip. Like you always got that <coughs> you always got that swag with you. Whatever it's that's just you. Rich, poor, niggas be fucked up. Niggas be fucked up still out there. Like what bitch? Fuck out of here, more money you, you dirty ass out of And you be fucked up. But you gotta keep your swag like yo, ain't nobody gonna tear me down. I don't care if I got a hundred thousand, hundred million, hundred dollars, hundred same you know shit. what I'm saying? Same you gotta man. be the same man, like yeah. and that's why niggas fuck with me. Yeah. Talking about from from the age I was like 14, bro, I can't name one person that ever caught my lawn yeah. and said, yo, Ray, 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 and I ain't, all right, I got you. Oh, yo, I'm over here, this, this is going on, yo, I got you. Bro. I'm out there, it's, just, it's, it's what it is. Like, yeah. I mean, so I'm just a kind-hearted person. Yeah. Um, Put me back into the, the moment where I guess the, the, the last night. Were you in quad with niggas that night? No, I was in Cityscapes. Never going back there near. Cityscapes closed now. Oh, good. I Not good, no hate and shit, but. I know. Bro, I, I'm the, in Cityscapes. The club can't be mad at you. you know yeah, I'm in like, Cityscapes, whatever. Doing my little world and all shit. And it's crazy because everybody, I'm telling them, wrong to everybody, pop out, we out. And they say, nah, I got here, bro. Fuck that shit, bro. Fuck that shit. Uh, shame my night. I mean, I'm going, nigga. Uh, I go there. And it's cool. Then I leave. I see cars everywhere. I'm like, the fuck? I go take a piss in the back. I'm driving. I get pulled over. So I'm like, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. They come out. Got the car, the handcuffs. I said, hold on. Oh, so you were leaving the club to handcuffs? Yeah. So I come out. I'm like, handcuffs? What the fuck? What the fuck? Once the cuffs come on you, them niggas is not taking it off. Unless something is going on with you. So they cuffed me. One police jumped in my car. He drove that shit by himself. That's not police procedure. You feel me? He drove the shit by himself. He put me in the car. I'm like, all right, first thing I do. He's by yourself? Nah, my son's bad with me. They let him go. Cause they just wanted them, yeah. you feel me? Boom. They get to the precinct. I'm gonna get my phone, I'm gonna get my call, I'm gonna get my call. What I'm gonna get charged for? Yo, this car was used in a shooting. I'm like, when? What shooting? Like, I've been driving up and down, I would've been a flag me. Yeah. All right, whatever, we'll use for a shooting, cool. Finally get my call, yo, baby, yo, yo. Get this car, Tom B. Mario. Go get this car. She come, they like, yo, can't get the car. It's whatever, whatever. They about to impound it. Hold on, homie. It's not in my name. I'm smart. You can't impound this. The owner's gonna come for this. Yeah. Feel me? They come, all, all type of running around. So all of a sudden, now there's a gun in my car. Feel me? So, okay, where you find this gun from? Mm hmm. How you got this? You don't got no search warrant for this car. So, how you got this gun? Oh, inventory. Who? No, nah, my car was supposed to be released. Mm -hmm. So how did a gun get in my car? Yeah. Alright, cool. Well, my fingerprints and DNA on that gun? So how did a gun? How did a gun? Alright. 
Niggas get locked up. I'm sitting down. I just hear everybody noisy, noisy. I get up, look. See my boy Chewy. Yo, they got you too, Mitch. I said, I don't even know you, Obi. They like, yo, I don't know each other? Nah. Rasha come. Hold on, here, Rasha go. Diet man. And that was over. We just did the shit laughing. He took Slice Cuban off his neck. They ain't never give it back. Like, niggas is dirty. They got chains. They got in their suits. Not ready for the cameras. Got spiffy. Walked this out like they did a great justice to the community. You know what I'm saying? It's a it's 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 crazy to hear it. Um, are you like when the case is going on, and you start hearing um, kind of what everybody was facing? I guess what's your mindset and all that? For real, everybody thought you going home. Like I'm just waiting for bail. I didn't give a fuck. My bail could have been a million, two million. I was waiting for bail because I was out of there. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then shit just started getting crazy. I hold on, nobody got bail. You like, like, and bills is. Six of like I was on probation at the time, so they just hit me with six hundred fifty thousand in a dollar hole. So it's like, why you even gave me bail? You wasn't gonna let me out regardless. Yeah. Then they wasn't like Bobby out. They wasn't let nobody out. Like only thing that went out was fame, cause fame had nothing. Like he's like, yeah. and then it's like, all right, now we sitting in jail. Now you got to jail. Now it becomes, oh, all them just nine niggas is locked up. I'm gonna try to do this to one of them. I'm gonna try to do this to one of them. So now I was like, well, all right. So I think we just like that in the street. Action time. Now I'm in jail now. It's going how it go. Mm -hmm. Everybody good. So you felt like niggas was going hard, like, I'm trying to get some clout on the hand off that immediate. I'm telling you, because once Bobby got out state, niggas tried to clap him. Down state, immediately, reception. I mean, like, oh, cool, you meet, she got up there, he got it on. Like, I got to my spot, got in a couple situations, niggas respected me after a while. Chilled. September time came, my mans came, they wasn't good. So if they're not good, I'm not good. So uh, hold up, to pull back, is it you feel like a lot of this is, is GS9 issues or Crip issues? Because everybody always say there's so much more blood than Crip. Well, like I said, I got a lot of bell homies that fuck with them niggas. Like, in jail, it's just you got some niggas that don't got nothing to do, some yeah. niggas that don't got no family support, some niggas. So this is their life. So I go up in there, I get my weight up. Write my bars, feel me? Mingle with whoever, mingle, because you, you gonna come out. You see yeah. him somewhere. Yeah. And that was me. You got niggas that just don't like me. What you don't like me for? I don't know you from nowhere. And you was the low key one, so they really had. Who's just not? I don't, I don't like that nigga. That's like, Mr. I don't like that nigga. Alright. I put hands on nigga. Put hands on somebody else. But let nigga alone, man. You see, he not, he not jacking nothing that niggas is doing. Yeah. Alright. The nigga in front of my man, blew the spot, boom, play the box. Five months. From one box to the next box. Went to the other, other jail. I didn't go to I didn't go to jail. Reception. So my cuff came off. Popped it off, dry from him. I'm not staying here. Get me to a different <laughs> different facility. I know what's going on. <laughs> Get to the next facility. Well, Get to the next facility. You're just like, this is not it. But I ran after that, though, for me. Like, my shit good, like. Shit good. I'd rather that. I was in spots. Right? Seeing niggas they shit blown off. I seen, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying like, damn. You know, my pull ups. Mm -hmm. It's politicking over there. Like, it's like, uh -huh. no, you keep it away from me, cause I'm gonna go. Okay. And I'm gonna go to the box. Yeah. If I don't like my bunkie, I'm gonna beat him up, get him out of there, be single. You know what I'm saying like, or I'm gonna just be in. But the last spot I went to, it's crazy because they sent me to Altona and Fetty had just came home from there. Yeah. So when he had came home, I went to that jail. So when I got there, it's like, all right. Oh, so y'all never was there at the same nah. time? So when I got there, it's like, okay. I came out the box, 159, like, got my jail ID on me. Little walk around bullshit. That's a plastic thing. I can't let you see that. I, I, I don't want it to do that. <laughs> I don't want to see that one. Uh, <laughs> It's that Jada bar, niggas that been home and only got a jail yeah, ID. Yeah, shit, right, I'm over. Yeah, this is real shit. See what, see my weight? That should say. One fifty nine. It's one fifty nine. Like the box. <laughs> so it's like I was two hundred. I never twenty in my life. Yeah. Lost that shit. Cashing out. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> um, while inside, was there any time that you was ever with the gang? Who you was with? Only Exception, Austin, me, Mitch, Rowdy, all with them, and Rowdy caught, we got caught a little sneak picking Austin. Feel me? <laughs> sneak about to sneak up in there. Oh. And I was there then. Niggas started. But Mick still talking in code heavy. Cold like, there's so much times that they gonna be like, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. I'm not mad at you. Oh, nah. But you still on your code shit heavy. Yeah, you know what he's looking like. You know what yeah, <laughs> They know what's up, man. Yeah. They, know what's they go up. fill in the blanks. Yo, every single time I spoke to Rowdy, I need you to be clear, bro. Every time. You're like, yo, punch, you're not trying to hit it 16, no, Cody? Like, this nigga is like a. He's been on his, his grind. Because niggas know you understand. They know that. Like, I. I I talked to the nigga Bobby then every day, Slice yeah. every day. You know, we got the Schmurder line. Niggas calling, same time every day. Yeah. Somebody are calling. Like, everybody is locked up. Catch him. And I been catching him in the morning, catch him at night. Yeah. Night time is mandatory. Niggas is on that. Yeah. You know what's going on with my bro. Mm -hmm. So, Bobby spit some shit. Uh, bro, yo, bro, bro. Roddy spit some shit. Then he acts like, nah, I just came home today, baby, bro. What's up? But I'm so in the phone, like, I'm on speaker, like, yo, bro. Telling my son, Grease, yo, Grease, yo, go on this, go on this Instagram. Ah, yo, who that? Go on this shit right here, yo. Yo, who that? Yo, go on this right here, yo, who yeah. that? He like, yo, boy, you feeling? I'm like, yo, says I got somebody for you, yo, slip. You know what I'm saying? But it's a lot. We talk about five years. Like, Instagram is updated 37,000 times since then. Yeah, like, I don't, so I'm saying, I didn't know nothing about no story. Live. I didn't know nothing about no live. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is this? So they you got see insights me. now. You can see who watching your so shit. I see I'm going on live. You feel me? Just yeah. being happy, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, I'm free. Like, yeah. I don't care what nobody I say. Yeah. I'm free. If, yeah. if, as long as my little man's in them is good and my man's in them is not in no harm's way, yeah. danger, I'm good. Yeah. feel me? I'm good. Who's the next one to come home? It would have been Slice. Oh, my son Drag, come home today. I'm over yeah. here chopping with you. I said Drag, come over here. He just came home. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm trying to pop out on him. I got yeah. curfew 8 o'clock, so I don't be playing with him. I'm, I'm inside. Mm -hmm. Folks catch me on Instagram or something. Dreaded and then Slice? It's not. Slice was supposed to come home, but he smacked him at the board. At Green, he smacked him at the board. He did everything. That's what I'm saying. Jail so, jail so corrupt. It's like they told nigga, yo, you gotta get your high school diploma in GDI. He gets it. You gotta take ASAP, ART, he do that. He what did he, what's ART? What's all that? Anger management. Oh, okay, okay. For me, ASAP is like drug treatment type shit. Oh, okay. Like drug case. So, he do all that. He go voluntary programs. AA meetings, all type of shit, Bye, just to make it look good. Yeah. So we go to the board, mind you, in Green, they just they just killed some kid. Give me the police. Oh, uh, oh, no. Like, the police inmates, I mean, the seals killed the kid and gave your parents to run around, family run around. So that's what Slice said. Oh, I did see that. Yeah, and that's what Slice said. I did see that. And Slice in the ball zone right now, you feel me? So when they, when they smacked boy at the board, I was still, I was still locked up on Queen Bro. So, you know, 8 o'clock on the phone. And you just hear it, like, you're like, bro, I'm about to blow this shit, bro. Fuck it. I got a, got a 22, um, 2020, come on four days after Bobby and them niggas. I'm about to blow this shit, bro. I don't want to stay here no more. I'm like, bro, I don't, don't do that. So I don't let that shit get you, for me? Yeah. You, you kind of close, you still get your visits and all that. Like, jail's going to be jail. The one thing I hate about niggas is when niggas say, nah, that shit lit. Like, when we was on the island, niggas be like, nah, I got to get back to the five. Like, I did it. I called myself doing it, though, because the five building, it was, like, it was lit. Uh, like you get your own, you get every clothes, niggas going down to visits, specs on, for me, Louis T's under they shit. Yeah. But that's what I call myself, like, damn, I said this shit is lit. I'm in jail saying another building is lit. Yeah, it's already fucking your brain. Facts. I mean, so I was like, damn. So that's why I, I stopped doing that shit. Like, nah, ain't no jail lit. So when I hear niggas say that, I be like, nah, that shit not lit, bro. Right. It's the same thing. You gonna go to sleep, you gonna wake up. Nah, I'm saying, some niggas, they indulge in whatever they indulge with, so if it's always there, that's lit to them. I remember my time fly. But I learned how to play chess and I learned how to do 100 push up and fly over the ball, so that's my, yeah. my time. So. I get you. Yeah. Um, one thing before we get out of the jail stuff, what's your mindset when you start hearing niggas is getting 90 years and 59 years? Like, what's with Quaino and Rock? Like, you gotta get rich and get my niggas the pills. That's it. Yeah. And like, it ain't no, you know, I'm about to get rich. You no, no. buy a Lambo and buy a fucking Rafe. You know, I'm going to get rich and try to get my sons out of jail. 
Sometime soon, sometime, <laughs> sometime, man. I talked to my son Rasha the other day. To A Rod in the box right now. I talked to Rasha, he and Wendy with Ziggy, free them guys and shit. And they were regular, like, yo, bro, can't wait you go home, bro. Ah, uh, cause these niggas out here, yo, bro, ah. Uh, and you're not hearing no strain, like, y'all got 98 years, bro. That's why I'm saying, like, like, how you give a nigga 98, 54? Like, your grandkids <laughs> gonna be dead. You gonna be dead. The judge after you gonna be dead. You gonna quit on 117. Your whole, you, everybody on your shit gonna be dead. How you give a nigga all that time, like? And you, and to make an example. Who you making an example for? Because y'all don't give, feel me? Y'all don't get the niggas that shoot the schools up. Or they sick. He had a mental problem. He was bullied. So, what the fuck that mean? Yeah. They put him in a mental house. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, Once. Some, some, some shit happened over here. You get innocent bullet, innocent bystander, some shit happened. But you was arrested one time for marijuana. Well, Punch was arrested for marijuana. He was shot in the leg 20 years later. What the fuck that got to do with it? Fact. So that's just how they be moving. Like, like, like my son Bills. Like, <laughs> niggas know, bro. Like, it's, it's, niggas know how the, how the system is, bro. Niggas know how the system is. Fact you is, feel bro. like it's more about... You feel like... You feel like it's more to them about like, yo, let's just make examples out of out of these niggas. Let me get a collar. Let me look like I'm doing nah, some crazy. Nah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. We just collars, bro. We just numbers. So when niggas be like, hey, you know, I came to jail. I see the young niggas. I was like, just now coming home. I was a nigga. He just turned 19. He took my yo. You on the phone next to me? Ah, you wanna go home? I'm doing this and this and this. So I pulled nigga up. I'm like, yo, bro, your mind twisted, bro. Like, nah, niggas ain't do nothing for me. I said, yes, yeah, so you gonna do something, God forbid, come out of jail, niggas still not gonna do nothing for you. Yeah. So you might as well just find a way to get some money, fuck some bitches, yeah. and live your life, my nigga, because this ain't it. You gonna be making soups and rice and tuna rolls and, like, everybody got their own choices, bro. Yeah. See, that shit is crazy, man. To even just hear everything and just hear how it's like, Digest it. It's man. It's like you, you, you get out, and your first thing. I know that you mentioned. You know, to me, you was just like your punch. I had to give up my little one. Like, how, how, how did you deal with that? Knowing that your, your junior is I just growing. Crying. You. Uh, I crying. Yeah. I see him like mad alone. Yeah. But I see him mad alone because me. I ain't want my son coming up there to see me. You feel me? Why? Wow. Uh, I feel like it's a cycle. When I was a kid, my pops was locked up, and I went up to see him. I mean, uh, you remember it, and it. No, nah, I remember. I just know in pictures like my pops got locked. My pops was one of the niggas in the nineties. Yeah. That whole bloodiest thing ever. Got knocked. I went to see him there. Went to see him in the feds. He got deported. All right. I became one of the niggas in the nineties. Yeah. Like Jesus, not ever. Yeah. Like get straight cash ever. Facts. I got locked. Yeah. My son came and see me once. Put my son out there. Wow. Well, like, nigga, just pull my son up. He walking through the hood like, like, he me. Yo, little Mitch, yo. Yo, mini bands, yo. <laughs> he giving nigga dab. Yo, how we getting money today? I'll show you a text right now. I asked the nigga if he think, if he think, um, I said something to him. He said, oh, you fancy. I said, I got an interview. He said, can you put it in the group chat with me and his mom? And <laughs> he said, they turn up the value in your phone, calling me. I said, I'm at an interview. That nigga said, Oh, you fancy. That's what he said. Fancy. <laughs> when he about to be 10, so I'm just glad. So when I seen him, I, for me, he about his head, ah, ah. And spun off to the crying. So his mother came to me, like, What's wrong with you? Like, yo, son, it's my little man. You feel me? You missed a lot. Yeah. yeah. But you here now? That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> so now it's like, he come home from school, I nigga on the phone me all day. Yeah. Got the tablet sitting right there, he on FaceTime, he doing his thing, I'm over here doing the homework. Thing. Yeah, that's good shit. So, it's um. That's why I stay inside. That's why niggas be like, yo, boy, you wild or not? No. It's only four days in. Like, they, you gotta tell niggas, bro, let me get a week, let me get a month, and no, let me get. I'm not going outside unless the people say you could go outside. I don't yeah. care what nobody say. Yeah. I really, cause at first I used to be thinking, like, nah, I'm out there. Niggas don't tell me nothing. I do all this time. You don't tell me I got a grown ass man. Yeah. Like, grown ass cripple don't tell me I gotta stay inside. Yeah. Then it's like, oh, hold on. Thanks. You know more count. I don't gotta wake up, make this bed, eat what I want. I got some McDonald's. That's a better last That's another thing I want to ask. Bills, we still going, right? Just making sure. 
Yeah, yeah we good, we good, we good. What's the first meal? Babe, <coughs> <coughs> boom, came out of Queenborough, went to the Coliseum, priced some jewelry too fast, went to the McDonald's right there. So I got my, got my people's phone in my hand. So I'm like, yo, what the fuck, bro? Yo, what's my password? And I'm like, why your phone so fucking big? Yo, boy, I don't understand this Instagram shit. So while I'm, I'm going to McDonald's now, I said, oh, you niggas got... Whole new menu. I'm like, oh shit, the crazy. TV screens. Word, self checkout. I said, self checkout. I said, this is talking. Yeah, then you see the um, what is it, the Uber Eat, where you can just pick up your food on. They not even waiting on the line now. You can order your McDonald's, go pick it up. Don't wait no line. Yeah, I don't know nothing about that. I know I'm on the phone. With my son Sigma. So I'm like, yo, oh, cuz, like, hey man, it's EJ. I'm like, cuz, what's going on here? Like, yo, bro, I know shit. So it was two girls and a nigga behind me. And they laughing. I'm like, yo, bro, I don't know how to use my gram. Like, I don't know what I'm looking at. What is this? What is this? This Why is this shit up, up here? I'm like, yo. So, you know, these days, I'm inside at 8 o'clock. You learn it. YouTube. Man. YouTube everything. YouTube got tutorials for the whole world. I'm just touching. I'm just here. I get you. Yeah, my shit's just going up. So now I'm like, all right. Yeah. You feel me? Now this interview telling the story out. It's going to change everything. Because this know. is going... Like, yo, bro, you famous. No, I ain't famous. Uh, not, not you kind of, whether you want to be or not. I'm not famous. You why you say crazy? That? Talk I, to me, because I'm going to tell you why you are. Every, every time you niggas say that to me, I say the same shit. What's up? Buy me, like, yo, bro. You say, you buy me. I be in the spot, like, yo, met you, boy. Or you got some niggas that heard World War 9. You got some niggas that heard All oh, You Dumb. They be like, yo, nah, fuck with your shit, bro. I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, then buy me, like, yo, bro, you buy me, bro. You, your kids, nah, bro, you famous. No, 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 no. You and Roddy are famous. I and me. Okay. Feel I get me? that. Y'all niggas is famous. I'm not they real famous. famous. Yeah. They I'm real famous. You famous. I'm not famous. When you be like, I'm <laughs> bitch, nigga. Fuck you talking about. Do they know. But you could. <laughs> just because you don't want to. Gino, he not hearing me. Just because you don't want to be. <laughs> not that don't like, make you. Like, I'm trying to show you. Like, I'm me. And the whole reason right now, Gino, but it boy deep boy deep boy Niggas yeah. say miss one two times, but. Or niggas are calling my other other name. Yeah. But I don't feel, how am I famous? You know what famous is, bro? I do. Um, what you call it famous? Lil Kendall and Kylie, you know? Oh, no, 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 no. That's different shit. No, that's famous. <laughs> See, that, that's different, different that's shit. That's famous. Though. Okay, all right. So that's we, famous. No, that's real different shit. You got to get famous. you one of the, like, it's oh, you with your baby mom. You don't need nothing, baby. <laughs> oh, I'm saying. Listen, a famous girl comes, nigga. You got listen. Well, famous, it depends. It depends, it's right. You got to be like, baby mom, I love you, but listen. We got appeals to pay for, baby. This is a Kardashian. You don't need to wait my situation. You don't need to wait my situation. Gotta do what you gotta do. Nah, I love it. Um, I'm happy for you, bro. I've shouted you multiple times. Like, and my shit is in concrete. This is the reason why I do a lot of shit. I, even when we had shit and I've had tons of interviews and I'd be like, yo, they'd be like, free Roddy, free Bobby, I'd be like, free the whole nine. And I always emphasize that because I think that at times we just blur it because it's so trend it's trendy. Yeah, this one like was, yeah. niggas want to pass in New York, free Roddy, free Bobby. I get it. We this, see the This play. is why I said they famous. Facts. Like we was never like we was never trying to be famous. Do you know what he wasn't trying to be famous? I wasn't trying to be famous. He's trying to be famous now. He trying to be famous. Now. This, this I see you at two three in the morning. Well, let me tell you something, morning. man. You might not know the same. <laughs> this not the same guy. No, trust me. I he see want the porn stars. He want the strippers. It's, diff it it's a different guy. Bobby wants the same thing. <laughs> Bobby calls me and be like, because you know, I, I got a couple porn star friends. You'll see when you get more into the YouTube, like they. They friend Bobby and then put put one on the phone for me, man. <laughs> That's my thing, man. Like I, I love it. Let me tell you a story you don't know. So Scrap comes home. I go to go get Scrap in Miami. We go me OP out there, uh, dozens for out there. I don't know, I seen that. Oh, you seen that? Already? I see everything. How the fuck you came downstairs, got his white shoes. Yo, That's the <laughs> bro, right there, bro. That's the bro. I was in jail here when I said shout out my nigga Scrap. He yeah. body gave him dog naps. Mm -hmm. Same. That's that's yeah. Like, I, but it's crazy. I'm blocked. Boom. Go to Queensboro. Feel me. So it's just like any other jail. The first thing I do, put my shit down. Go to the gym. Yeah. See who in the spot. Yeah. So nigga, Buck comes <coughs> up on me. Buck there, church boy there. My son Pop had just went to the box. So it's like, I'm like, damn, son. Mad. I'm looking at Buck. Looking at church. Mad. I ain't seen niggas mad long, but that's happy. It's like, what's my niggas here? Like, yeah. It's like, I like, I see one of in jail. Mm -hmm. Feel me? Oh my gosh, bro. Like, oh my gosh. 
Uh, no, Scrap is my family. I seen Scrap grow up his whole life. I know Scrap older brother. They grew up across the street from me. Like so, I know. I really know Scrap. I know. Oh, I know them since I know Op since he a baby. Niggas don't know. You know what I mean? But oh, now nah, I, I love it. I love what this whole shit is becoming. I love that you. I, I love that you came home to a song. Um, what's the move for you though? Like, what is it? Is if is rap really it? Yeah, I can rap. We okay. Can when when are we getting the records? We see you putting a snippet of the record. What's gonna be the first one you lead with? Is it a mixtape? Is it an album? What are we trying yeah, to? I'm gonna drop a mixtape. Okay. My birthday April 12th, so probably get that shit done. Like I said, it 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 be it be it be my scariness on parole. Like I'm not playing. I gotta be in the house at eight o'clock. Six o'clock I'm out. That's why you see I keep looking at the time because I'm not playing with the man. No, I get you. Trust me. Yeah, my life. We out of here fine. Yeah, my life. Nah, I'm saying nah. We good. He's gonna ask me off for me. Yeah. Yeah, my life just to go back to jail, to sit down there, to buy more shit bangs. Like nah, that's how I brought them shits home. I need to go back to jail for them shits. I got a couple in the crib. If I feel me, yeah. me eat them shits right here. I'm good. I don't need to go back. Yeah. So I'm good. I got my lobster, okay. cornmeal porridge, and. Feel me? I can side fish. I'm good. Make it fast. Well, he, he got he got back to the yard fast. That's I ate this morning. I can saw fish dumping. And sure. I'm out. Ready to go. We has, out. has it hit you that you home? You know what? I was talking to my son Guido. You feel me? Shout out to Rich Roller. And he's like, yo, bro. I was home. And that shit didn't hit me. Like, and he's like, yo, bro. I was really locked up. So this is how I'm thinking now. Like, yo. Like, niggas was really locked up. Like. That shit don't mean, it means something, but it don't mean nothing because it was yesterday. You know what I'm saying? I can't, you can't get back yesterday. <coughs> Facts. You can't dwell on yesterday or whatever. If, if some shit happened, you're going to be tight about it, but you can't dwell on it. That's why in jail, I used to be like, all right, one more day down, boom. Yo, this shit happened. Yo, I'm in the box. Fuck it. I know I got out the box in 60 days. Go go to sleep, wake up, go to sleep, wake up, push it, uh, go and get on the gate, talk shit. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But you can't dwell on nothing. Like if I had to come home and made that song, that shit was dirt. Should have been dirt. I come home, made the song. I had I eight, like I said, seven sixteen that bitch, like I said, like came with me. We just chilling. Like it wasn't yeah. no extra. I didn't do no extra extra. I could have yeah. could did a lot of shit niggas be doing, bro. Yeah. I could have did a lot of shit niggas be doing, just just for clout. I didn't do it. Yeah. What is that? What is that doing for me? Let me tap on that. Every every two seconds, like, it's, it's a different climate now. Now it's like, I don't have no buzz, so I'm going to say, fuck y'all niggas, and then I get buzz. Okay. How do you deal with all of this new clout chasing and new way got, to get popping and rap? I don't, don't got beef with nobody, bro. Do you take the disses and the shots to y'all? I don't, don't got beef with nobody. <laughs> I like everybody. I don't got beef with nobody. <laughs> I really don't. I don't got beef with nobody. If he got beef with somebody, then I got beef with somebody. So that's the thing. There it is. See what I'm saying? I got, me, personally, I got beef with nobody. Like, I might dislike certain people. Yeah. But, you know, karma happens to niggas like that. Mm. Karma catch a nigga coming out of baby mom crib. Karma catch a nigga somewhere downtown or something getting locked out. You might slip. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't, karma not going to record that. Because <laughs> that shit's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm not, I don't got beef with nobody. Like mm -hmm. I said, I just love my brother, you feel me? And and my baby mom used to, I, I'll tell you a story when he was younger. Talking about with Shice, some niggas like 17, 16. Me and my son Shice, we, we was the niggas in the hood doing what we had to do, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And a lot of niggas, a lot of niggas, are, a lot of niggas are know, like oh, those two niggas outside, is is what's up. That's when Hollister Jackets was out. Niggas had the blue bubble Hollister Jackets, you feel me? Facts. So, <clears throat> and one day I'll never forget, and then this is why I love Slice, you feel me? Like, situation occurred, some shit happened with him and my son Cash. I just figured got it on with him. That's when my boy had a little mohawk and shit. And niggas tried to see these sneakers coming down the hill. You yeah, know what bum shit is, yeah. <laughs> so, he got it on, he lost a pair of kicks, he tight. He come, yo, bro, yada, da, da, yada, da, da, I got you, got you. I used to for me, I'm put DJ to sleep and I'm like, ah, uh, time going, time going. Corn niggas, y'all about to pop out right now. Say, like, nah, bro, I'm good. Took care of that. She's like, what? Well. Anyway, go to the Zopan or whatever. He's like, yo, bro, nigga, that's not calling out your crib, bro. 
And then I start pulling out the crib. You got mini bands to take care of. You got you know, you E gang over there. Like, like niggas, niggas, niggas don't start stepping up. Niggas don't do what they do. Yeah. And, and Smurd is, you feel me? It's hot. It's just like, niggas just, this little fat nigga right here, he fat, so you know he not trying to box <laughs> nobody. <laughs> he wasn't running anything. He he was, was, yeah, he not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I show you, like, he, like, I remember that coming out of schools. Nigga, nigga did some funny shit, some poof them, and nigga, old nigga man was there. I don't know, if, that's what I'm saying, niggas, we cool, we yeah. loud cool. Yeah. Niggas, yo, what up, boy? We take a picture, come on. So niggas probably feel like, let me try these niggas, cause they not like that. And that's exactly what happened, and I never forget that shit was the funniest night of my life. Cause police was right there. Nigga told niggas to check in. Like, yo, you know me, I'm such and such. Yo, this is my town, check in. Word, but. You said you were in the Sue's rendezvous? Yeah, we was over at Sue's. And they told you to check in the Bronx? Nigga said to check in. So, why we standing there like, so why we look at this nigga and my son thrag like, yo, you feel me? I like, yo, boop, 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 but niggas always want to get some gangster, gangster shit. Like, yeah. hey, everybody want to be a gangster, gangster. Oh, you have no idea yet. It's no, like, I know, because I'm on yeah, the crib. Now nah, you're on the crib, yo, bro. <laughs> yo, D, listen to me, bro. The the type of behavior that's going on nowadays. Oh, shows and all that. Like, I'm looking at shows like. They're getting bold. They're getting shoot. very outspoken. They want to go to jail. That's what they want to do. Yeah. They want to go to jail. So let them. In. I got mine. I got my number. For me. Got my number. Got my scars. Yeah. I mean, not on my face, though. I'm good, pretty. But got my number, did my thing. Put on for my gang. For me, the white kids never said I was no slouch. But that shit is not cool. Yeah. So if you niggas want to go out there and ah, ah, when shit hit the fan, just <coughs> hold it down, bro. If you get part of something, know what you're part of. And my mother said, yo, if you know what you're doing. My pop says, yo, you know what you're doing. Yeah, facts. That's like, shh. Hey, mom says, you know what you're doing. That's right. Niggas know what you're doing. So when that shit hit the fan, them niggas throw that, throw that 50 bullshit or 40, 30 bullshit. Yeah, they throw that niggas and you over talking about, I'm going to tell them nothing. I'm telling because niggas, niggas did this to me. And niggas, That's right. And it's like, yo, my bro got 97 years. My bro got 54. My bro got 117. Like, Zeke got 100 and change. Like, niggas ain't tell. Niggas could have took whole communities down. Yeah. So then when I hear shit like that on the radio, like, yo, the... This is the person is telling them because of this. It's like, but I get it. We gotta. You can say it. I'm not. But you know, like, I know. I, 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 they so listen, know. They I know. mean, they know. I, I can, They're gonna expect me to say something. You get what I mean? I just put out a video. Let me tell you. Wanna know how crazy this is? I didn't know you was home. I did a video on Monday for the first time talking about Takashi. This is a fact. Shout out my son Nuke too. Nuke had pulled up when he was in Austin, he chopping up for a little bit. Yeah, fact. Nuke was different. I thought he, for me, thought he, thought he escaped that little wave right there. Yeah. He was dead. Me and my son live for him. He was dead chopping up. Nuke pulled up. Nuke. Yeah. I didn't even know you was home. I didn't even know you was home. On Monday, I go and I spoke on everything with the Treyway and Takashi shit um, for the first time because I ain't say nothing. Um, yeah, I just wanted to just watch how it unfolded. I shouted your name because in that whole show I'm talking about Bobby too because I spoke to Bobby last week. And comparing the shit, sadly enough, I mean, let me not even say that because he's the only one that will go on road because the Treyways are standing tall the same way. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, shout out to them niggas. Like, as I said, shout out to no. Yeah. Shout out to all niggas over there. Because I'm saying, like, you know, a nigga told me in jail, and they said, what's the, what's the weakest link on the chain? Like, no, what's the strongest link on the chain? What is? Yeah, what's the strongest link? The clip? No. Nah. We're talking about what we're talking about. Strongest link is the weakest link. He the only one that could bust the chain uh, from the inside. I'm with you. Oof. Mm -hmm. I was I was going the wrong way, but I feel you. When that's what I said, when everybody did like if he do something, I'm gonna address him. I don't gotta see that nigga for two, three months. Mm hmm Call that nigga boy bugging. Facts. You feel me? Facts. So you gotta make sure, like, but like I said, I don't know, boy. Like, even Sice used to be like, yo, Sice, what's up with this nigga? He from Sice, yo, I do not know that nigga, bro. Like, yeah. I don't know that nigga, bro. Like, word. Yeah, Slice called in on um, Scraps outside and called it on the phone asking for poor stars, too. Niggas, I, I get it. Right, if 
See, if I could move around, like how Fetty move around, I'd have been out at 8 o'clock and get out of this interview, gang would have been on the phone, in yeah. that situation. Yeah, I know Bobby called at 8. I know. Yeah, him, Slice. Everybody. Bobby be calling his little cat and, you know, It take, it take, like. He's little cat But you doing what you're supposed to do. You're just keeping it level. You're just absorbing. You're watching everything. You're getting everything up. How does it feel for you to come home and see Fetty to be Fetty right now? That's little bro, son. Like, see, as soon as I came home, yo, boy, where you at? Yo, come on, we out. He in the stool with me. Like, I was like, niggas don't understand. Like, I don't know where this fat nigga was at. He's, he's over here looking for bitches or something. <laughs> these little bros, like, niggas don't understand. These are really little bros. Like, yeah. You come outside, yo, what's up? Like, where you at? Where you at? Hold on. You go here, son, don't feel right. This nigga, like, yo, boy, where you at? Yeah. All right, you with Katy? All right, cool. Yo, boy, where you at? You what? No, 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 no. Get over here right now. I'm hot, boys, bro. Yeah. Get over here. Yo, good. No, 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 no. Get over here, bro. Yeah. See, it's different when you got niggas that's not. Like, niggas is gang. Cool, cool. Gang, yeah. gang, gang, boys. Niggas not his big bro. So another nigga might tell him something. you be like, what? I'll punch you out. Yeah. You're not going to tell me that. Yeah. I'm like, we out. Relax. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not on no super gangster, no aggressive shit. Like, it's just. Nah, big bro want me around. Yeah. It's coming around. from love, though. They yeah, don't so yeah. This is what I'm saying. So when I come home, I see Fetty lit. It's like, oh, little bro lit? Oh, yeah. kid is shit. Fuck it. Hey, little, yo, what's up, boy? Yo, boy, I'm, I'm about to go over here. I'm about to go over here. Cause when I heard the boy we doing shit, and then Queen Burst, this shit started. So I swear shit started off. I'm like, oh, this shit tough. This shit beating, you feel me? And bro just trying to ting. Like, you know, fuck it, bro. He's supposed to be basketball. He came home, like, you know what? Right. Yeah. Work for him. Yeah. Now I can go, I can drop this song, I'm gonna go to the stool right now, go make another song. The next week I'm gonna go make another one. Yeah. I got I got four or five books. Yeah. Ready to go. Ready to go. Yeah. Ready to go. Know where I'm gonna go, the visuals, I see how World War Nine was, the way I played the visual out. I'm 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 letting I love you know that shit, bro. I'm letting you know what's really going on, like how wars are starting over drugs, like fuck all this little scam and shit niggas doing it's cool, but it's big players in the streets. And this is why I say a lot of niggas is just is just oblivious to shit because they just think like, all right, yeah, I'm scamming, I'm pulling out twenty thirty, I'm that's cool, that's fine and then, but you got niggas that's that's moving out there, yeah. you know I mean? older niggas that might walk around with some bum shit all day. Yeah, yeah this old bum ass nigga only go to the bum buy one drink and that nigga go and nigga inside nigga crib like a fucking Buckingham Palace type shit. Yeah, so. I just I just grew up in a different type of environment. My pops was a different type of nigga in the nine. Like yeah. my grandfather was still there, like niggas nigga. You know what I'm saying? Older niggas respect me, older niggas call me out. Like, yo boy, woo, talk to your little man's or woo. it was a situation one time with with Lil Ja. He outside with, with, with another nigga that, that was cool with us. I don't know what's up with him, but it's just so happened I parked the ninety fourth. You know I mean? Just so happened. It's like two in the morning. Yeah. Coming around rolling. So I see niggas. They think son drunk. Oh, the Jamaican nigga think he drunk. Uh, they just, whatever the fuck they try and do. Son back them. Boom. The other nigga ran on job. Right? So now job stuck. He got his head blown off. There's nobody outside. Fact. I'm like, yo, 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 big doors, deals. That's my little man. It's my people. Ooh, 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 ooh. Feel me? Josh sitting there like, yo. He's like, yo, y'all right, tell me whatever I'm like, please. My, that's my little man, I got you. Grab him up, yoke him up a little. What the fuck you doing out here? Ah, <laughs> give him some bread. And it's like, imagine if I ain't coming around that corner. Different story. <clears throat> Same oh, so. Blowing off. And the nigga that you walking around with, that's what he, he done dipped on you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I just, like, a lot of niggas been through a lot of shit, so I just be thankful, bro. Yeah. Like, my mom said jail probably saved us. Jail probably kept niggas away from certain shit. Jail probably kept, you know what I'm saying? Like, Crazy. I'm just thankful, man. Yo, um, before we get out of here, what did they, what, I, mean, I mean, I know I jumped back and forth, but what what did they find you guilty of while you had to? What was in the possession of a weapon with intent to use. Huh. That's it. Yeah. I told him I'm not taking conspiracy. I'm not taking conspiracy. What that conspired to do? You don't got me saying nothing. I'm on yeah. the phone saying literally nothing. Yeah. Nigga, Gina, I don't talk. What? what you saying? What? Hello? Psh, bang. <laughs> what? Excuse me? Huh? Psh, bang. You know what I'm saying? Just, I'm going to see you. 
Wait till y'all see you. The story yeah. is not that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, so, that was it. I get you. You know, five little, five piece, went up there, did my thought there, so, you know what I'm saying, did my thing. I get you. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I've been on the phone from 8 o'clock in the morning to 8 o'clock at night, 8 o'clock in the morning to the last click. Niggas ain't, niggas ain't tell me nothing, like, yeah. nothing. If I didn't like it, if I didn't like where I was going, then the situation right then and there, and I was going to go somewhere else. Facts. You know I'm saying? Like, Is there anything that you want to lead the people? Be yourself, man, like. Hmm. And just remember, like, she has not opened the doors for the city, like. So I want y'all to remember that niggas sit there and niggas are saying whatever, everybody wanna sneak this and all that shit corny. Like if you can't get your money without sneak this, we ain't sneak this nobody. We just told niggas what's going on. Like, this is what's going on. So if you can't do that and get your little situation going and you gotta be a meat rider or or, or you gotta go stop at Nathan's every couple of days and get you some Franks, then <laughs> that's what you gotta do. That's your gimmick, that's your life, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't got no gimmick. I, I, I came out of jail, I said whipping the I-8, for me, like, jumped out of jail, whipped the I-8. Like, so, Video so, moving. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just came home from upstate. Like, I need me lobster and steak. I'm trying to whip me a Rafe. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to give me a base. She got it up like a LeMay. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. I thought you were going to keep going. You just, yeah. you learn fast. Don't cut the rapper off. Let him yeah. keep going. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> Yo. I got, let me see. Let me see. Yeah, there's some jail commandments. It's still going, Bill? Yeah, you go, you go. Say, look. Rule number one when you sitting in jail. Don't talk about money if you can't make bail. Rule two. Don't talk about your bitch every day. Because she out there fucking and sucking on Thursdays. Rule three. Don't never argue too much. Because most niggas that argue can't take no punch. Rule four. Don't care how niggas feel, cause they ain't your mans like that, just keeping it real. Rule 5, keep your shit all the way live. Niggas call you out for a fade over they pride. Rule 6, get up on your pushups and dips, cause niggas walking around like Tukey and shit. Rule 7, find a way to make a little weapon, cause if they can't beat you, they'll stab you up in a second. Rule 8, make sure your commissary straight, cause niggas be starving at night when they awake. And rule 9, make sure your hygiene fine, cause niggas walk around and be stinking all the time. And rule 10, I know this is hard for most men, but when you get out, don't come back again. <laughs> bow, bow, bow. Miss, don't fucking miss. It's dear me. We doing more every day. Dreams motivate everybody. You feel me? Smell the gang in the building. Huh? I fucking Ooh. love it, man. Punch, nigga. That boy outside, nigga, be scared, nigga. Bow.